Yo, what's up? It's Lucas, and in today's video, me and my buddy, Mr. Peacock, don't mind him, are coming at you to give you one video tip. If you're doing video marketing, if you're creating video content, if you're shooting videos like this and you want more retention, you want people to watch the video for a longer period of time, which the algorithm will help you get it to more people, but you find that it's not happening. This one thing, I'm not gonna say it's easy, but it's fairly simple and it just takes some practice and it's simply this. If you want people to watch your videos longer, you've got to shut up. And remember the first thing you're thinking is like, well, I have to talk because I'm doing a video and I'm teaching someone something. And yes, you do have to talk, but those filler words, um, uh, like, so, uh, you know, <clears throat> kind of, are freaking, it's like, boring little reasons for someone to click onto something else, to stop watching you. And it's really a bad habit that we all get into. Now we're all guilty of it, even myself. I'm constantly monitoring myself because these ums, ahs, and filler words can easily creep into your stuff, creep into your stuff. Now, once or twice, it's okay. But here's what I'll say, and I'll give you an example here. If I was to say, um, kind of, you know, I've got this idea, and um, if, you, if you put it to then kind of like, it's like, what? what? Like, what, what are you doing? And here's another example with pauses, without saying anything, with structuring your thought, there's nothing wrong with silence. So you could, if you were, to put two things together and then transform it. See how those little like two, three second pauses? You could even extend that pause. If you're really thinking about something and you're trying to structure your thought before you speak it, don't be afraid to just have silence. There's actually nothing wrong with it. If anything, when you're learning how to speak, it can be used as a tool, as a tactic to build a little bit of tension and a little bit of curiosity, a little bit of intrigue as to what's this guy or girl gonna say next. I think we use ums, ahs, and filler words because we're so terrified of silence and we feel like I'm an expert and I should know exactly what to say. People are gonna start thinking that I don't know what I'm talking about if I'm not always talking. But slowing down and being okay by just being silent while you structure your thought, it's totally normal to be like, you know what? In real life, we don't use those ums, ahs, likes, and so as much as we do, and I see clients who speak normally in person, if not sometimes they're great speakers in person, but the second they get on video, they're like, um, cause, uh, so maybe, or nervous just to fill space. And so all I can tell you, and this is a bit of discipline, it's not easy, it's a bit of discipline, is if you watch every one of your videos after you film it, I know it's painful sometimes because we're gonna critique ourselves more than anyone else, but if you watch every video before you put it out and just make note, how many times did you say, um, Oz, until the pain of realizing how often you say it, start seeping into your subconscious that every time you're making a video, you're gonna remember how often you say it and you'll notice. You'll notice yourself stop yourself right before you say it. And it's a habit you can get into where you start enjoying the silence more than you enjoy using the filler word. Tag me in your next video, I'd love to see it. If you're just getting into video marketing or just video content, you're putting it out there, Tag me at Lucas Rubix on Instagram and Lucas Rubix on this YouTube coaching channel. And I'm curious of how it'll go for you and keep getting back up. You're not gonna fix it in one video. It might take 10, 20, 30 videos, but it's repetition that builds the habit up. With that said, www.lucasrubix.com for absolutely anything else. We got a niche guide, we got Online Coaching Academy. That's a $500 course for building your coaching business that we give away for free. And again, all of that's at lucasrubix.com. With that said, I'm sort of kind of like uh, out of here and I'll talk to you soon. So I don't know when this whole get a job, nine to five, play it safe, think small and hopefully someday retire with enough time to maybe chase my dreams became okay but for people like you and me, it's not. I'm Lucas Rubix and welcome to the coaching channel where I continue my mission of setting human beings free.